the rap game isn't like the rest of the music industry. You can't just hit the stage with your real name and start spitting bars. And even the dudes who started the game had names like DJ Cool Herc and DJ Hollywood. So today, we're breaking down how the biggest rappers in the world got their names. 21 Savage is one of the hottest rappers in the game right now, but it probably would have been harder to blow up if he used his legal name. He was born Shea Ben Abraham Joseph, which doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Back in 2016, Savage told DJ Small Lives that the 21 comes from the gang that ran the block where he grew up. He started rocking with him when he was a kid and jumped off the porch around 12 years old. 21 says Savage just comes from what went down the streets. He said, Savage come from just me being a savage, taking nigga shit, shooting that nigga, you know, street shit. A lot of rappers rap about things they never done, but 21 really lived that life and had a wild come up in Atlanta. He got shot six times and saw friends die right in front of him. But luckily, he made it out of the trenches and now he's involved with stopping the violence and educating kids to avoid the street life. Kodak Black made headlines back in 2017 when he announced that he was changing his legal name to Bill K. Capri. It's not clear why he picked that name, but his lawyer said he wanted a fresh start with a new name. Kodak's old legal name was Dyson Octave, but he told Passion of the Whites in 2014, they used to call me Lil Black. When I was six, I used to run around and they called me Black. And then when Instagram came out, I chose Kodak Black. In 2017, Kodak had an infamous interview on The Breakfast Club where he wore a ski mask the whole time. When they asked him where the name Kodak Black came from, he said, I mean, there's a lot of ways I could explain it. Then out of nowhere, he said, I ain't no cameraman, but I'll shoot it. I just thought of that. People be asking me that question. That's my new answer. Kodak even dropped a track called Why They Call You Kodak, where he sent with the interview and said, ain't no cameraman, but I'll shoot a on the hook. It seemed like he didn't have a real reason for picking the name when he first started rapping, but obviously it worked out for him anyway. YBN Namir popped off in 2017 with the track Rubbing Off The Paint, but he started the Young Boss crew back in 2014. His real name is Nicholas Alexander Simmons, but he chose the name Namir because of his homies Nazir and Shamir. He told Complex, they always treated me like the little bro. So I was just like, I want to be like these n****s. So he combined their names and ended up with Namir. YBN Corday is the most popular artist from the collective, but he dropped the YBN from his name in 2020. There were a lot of issues with the crew at the time and nobody actually owned the rights to the YBN name. So Corday went his own way. He told Genius, it ain't nothing against Namir and Jay. Before I came to the conclusion that I was gonna drop the three letters, I called Namir and I asked for his blessing. The YBN movement died out pretty quickly, but Namir kept the letters in front of his name and just signed a new deal with Def Jam in July. If he pops off again like back in the day, YBN could end up making a comeback. Lil Uzi Vert is one of the most unique artists in the game, and his name stands out too. Uzi was born Samir by Sil Woods, but then changed his name to C Lab Vertical after joining a rap crew in 2010 called Steak Town. Uzi told E that Vert actually came first. They said, it was like vertical, like straight up. The Uzi part came later after someone said he rapped fast. In 2016, Uzi told Vibe, some guy was just like, you rap fast, man, like a little machine gun. And from that moment, I was Lil Uzi. At first, they didn't say who the dude was. But last year, Uzi revealed that a crackhead was who gave him that name. Getting named by crackheads doesn't sound like a recipe for success. But obviously, it worked out for Uzi. By the time Cardi B blew up in 2017 off of the track Bodak Yellow, she already had a fan base from when she was on Love & Hip Hop New York. Before she took over the rap game, she had already told her fans where her stage name came from. She went on the Wendy Williams show and said, my sister, her name is Hennessy. So everybody used to be like, but Cardi to me. And then, you know, I shortened it to Cardi B. Cardi's real name is Bel Khalees Marlenese Almanzar, which is a lot harder to rhyme with. Plus, the B can change meanings depending on how she feels. She said, the B stands for whatever the B be, depending on the day, beautiful, or a bully. Cardi also told Jimmy Fallon that going by Bacardi could cause legal issues with the brand. So shortening it down to Cardi B made sure she would never be in court over it. Lil Yachty's kind of a weird rap name, but it definitely fits better than Miles Parks McCollum which is Yachty's real name. Back in 2016, he told Ebro in the morning where Yachty came from. When he was in the ninth grade, he linked up with some older dudes in a group called the Yacht Club. Yachty said, they were all like a lot older than me and I was kind of the baby. So I just called myself Lil Yachty. At first, he didn't even go hard with the brand image. 
but then his manager hit him up and said he should start wearing clothes from Nautica to go along with the name. And when he dropped his debut album in 2016, Yachty went all in on the theme and called the project Lil Boat. Having a weird name could definitely backfire, but Yachty made it work and became one of the biggest rappers from the SoundCloud era. Before he was killed in 2018, Tentacion was one of the hottest and most controversial rappers in the game. He was known for his unique style of music that combined rap with emo, rock, and punk, and his name helped him stand out too. He was born Jose Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy, but changed it to Tentacion when he started rapping. X told K Fox from 103.5 to B that the X meant unknown temptation, and that X is a variable like the wild cards and unknown. Tentacion means temptation in Latin, and when K Fox asked about where the three X's came from, he said, I don't really know. It just came to me, I guess. I used to jerk off a lot. I'm talking about, I used to watch blue movie after blue movie. It's a wild story for sure, but the name definitely helped get people's attention. XXX Tentacion's homie, Ski Master Slump God, has a wild name too. He was born in Stokely Clay Von Doborn, which definitely doesn't sound like a rapper's name. Ski went to Juvie in 2013 and linked up with X. They made plans to start hitting licks together once they got out, but then they started writing music instead. Ski told XXL his name is literally what it stands for, by any means, even if it's the fast way or the slow way. The Slump God part was inspired by him popping Zans. He said, I don't take Xanax no more, but that definitely was a factor at the time. Youngboy Never Broke Again is one of the hottest rappers in the game right now. Even though he was locked up on house arrest, his fans kept rocking with him and his career never slowed down. He blew up as NBA Youngboy, which stood for Never Broke Again. Youngboy told DJ Small's Eyes that his cousin actually came up with the NBA name, and Youngboy just took it and ran with it. His real name is Kentrell Deshaun Galden, but now he goes by Youngboy Never Broke Again just to make sure he doesn't get sued by the real NBA. When Black came into the game, nobody was really sure how to pronounce his name. His real name is Ricardo Valdez Valentine Jr., but he told 93.9 WKYS in DC that he's had the name Black since middle school. The Six comes from Atlanta's Zone 6 where he grew up, and he says, it was a simple name at first. It got different meanings as I got older, and I just stuck with it. People have been mispronouncing it ever since he popped off, and Black even talks about it on the track Imported with Jesse Reyes. He said, Hi, my name is Black, and sometimes people call me Six Slack. I don't mind because they stubborn, and my bank account looking mighty fine. Even though the name's confusing to some fans, it actually helped him go viral before, so Black probably won't be switching it up anytime soon. Terrence LeVar Thornton, aka Pusha T, is probably the biggest coke rapper in the game. A lot of rappers talk about weight they never moved, but Pusha was really living that life. He told Jimmy Fallon that Pharrell's actually the one who gave him the name Pusha. They would be working in the studio, then Pusha would step out to slang coke, so Pharrell coined the nickname. On the track Comedy Central from the first Clips album, Pusha said that the T stands for a ton of that shit that make your nose run. And when it comes to rap names, Pusha's is definitely one of the best fitting. Gucci Mane is a rap legend and is known for rocking Gucci outfits too, but his rap name actually came from his grandpa. His grandpa was stationed in Italy during World War II and fell in love with Gucci clothes over there. And when he got back, he started calling his sons Gucci Mane and Gucci Boy. Guwap's real name is Roderick Delantic Davis, but he says that everyone called him Gucci his whole life. So when he started rapping, he just ran with the name he was already rocking with. Back in the day, the brand Gucci kept sending him cease and desist letters, but Guwap leveled up and has partnership deals with him now. Gucci's one of the most name drop brands in the game, but Guwap's so legendary that he can share the name and nobody even gets confused.